hello. I am in Santa Monica, just off the 101. And I just had dinner at a place called Patrick's Roadhouse. I've had better. A big old greasy mess. Usually greasy messes test taste good and well this one didn't so that was rather disappointing. So I really do enjoy a good roadhouse meal. So I'm gonna make my way back to Studio City and just share some thoughts about what, 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 what to do. Um, yeah. I'm feeling a flagging of, I guess you can say, a, a waning of determination. Is what I think it is. Um, you know, a couple times in these past few days, the quote, and God, I wish I knew who did the quote. If you know who does this quote, please put it in the comments. I would appreciate that. But the quote is, uh, or the saying, I guess, is if you want to do, if, if you want to live a different life you have to do something you ever done something close to those lines and yeah that's pretty much sums it up I would like to live a different life I would like to a life of being on the road and traveling and um, exploring and discovering and learning things and trading if I can, sharing with others, um, hopefully provide a light for them. Um, sorry, it's a bit dark. Uh, it is, um, well shoot, seven something, it's just daylight savings time. So one clock says six, one clock says seven. <laughs> um, but, uh, But yeah, like help people out, share people, um, ideas with people, uh, I, um, experiences. Um, I've spent a lot of my life uh, I'm kind of a loner. Those of you who know me personally, then you can pretty much say that, but I uh, would agree. But I, I like people. I like hanging out with them. They're fun. They're funny. They're uh, <laughs> Human race is a funny thing. Um, so I want to I experience more of that. And um, so if I want to do something I've never done, if I want to, well, whatever that's sailing, I, I screwed it up. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the many, many reasons why I went into this. Um, I'm hanging out with the beach. I'm about to go by this beach. I just want to check it out. I know me, I, me, me and Mia cannot get out, but just to be near water again. That's. I think that's one of the big things that brought all this on is um, I'm not oh, man. Wow, this is a pretty beach. Uh, I'm not LA doesn't vibe with me very well. Just the energy of the city, just, I don't know. Something about it just does not sit well with me. Um, but I'm here, so uh, gotta make lemonade or, I got it. There's gotta be a better saying than lemonade because lemonade's disgusting. <laughs> I never liked it. Um, 
So, um, but yeah, let's just, let's, just, let's just go home or to our city home. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I just guess this is a, a driving vlog, I guess. I gotta remember this beach. I think dogs can get on in it. Hold on, let me ask something. Excuse me, sir. Are dogs allowed on this beach? Are dogs allowed on this beach? No. No? Just right there? On the walkway? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Good to know. So I guess there's a walkway I can take you on, man. I can't go on the sand, though, which is good because you'd sand up the van. Hey, that rhymes. Sand up the van. Uh, anyway. Spikes don't back up. Severe tire damage. Noted. Let's not do that. Anyway. Trying to figure out what to do here. Um, in LA. And I think my... You know, the go-to is something we've always lived with. Is, you know, find a place to live. Sticks and bricks. And somewhere safe. Somewhere familiar. When we get into a place where, you know, we don't feel safe, we don't feel comfortable, we don't feel, um, you know, we're, we're, we're out of, we, we, we went out of the box, <laughs> maybe a little too far. Um, but, I'm still excited about this. This is a challenge, and I'm going to keep my eyes open for that apartment. I don't think it's coming, because um, if you watched the last video of some thoughts before apartment hunting... Yeah, a lot of the uh, out of my price range. Nobody wants a, a dog, a pit bull. Uh, and if they do, it's crazy expensive pet deposits, which I don't understand because, hello, that's what a main deposit is for. It's Anyway, maybe I'll understand it better uh, when and if I become a landlord. Who knows? Um, but when I do... All my places will be pit friendly and large dog friendly because that's bull. Isn't that right, honey? She's whining over here. <sighs> okay. So, these are my thoughts. Winter, we're probably going to be good in the van. We're going to get a gym membership uh, for um, shower needs and hygiene and make sure that's good. Um, over Christmas, I'm going to um, up the grade the van as much as I can, uh, make it a bit safer for the LA area. Um, let's see here. Um, my my biggest worry, and I think I mentioned it in the last video, is um, Mia and the heat. I'm not I'm concerned about this. So I think instead of investing my time and money and finding a sticks and bricks. I'm going to, are my tires like on those things? I'll let this guy go and then jump forward. Hope I don't roll back and puncture my tire. Oh, oh, oh. Noob move, man, noob move. Uh, anyway, um, my time and my money, I'm gonna spend investing in um, oh, here we go. Investing in figuring out a way. Oh, I guess I should have gone up over there to get um, AC in the van and be able to charge it through solar power and have a good battery bank for it because the during the day, uh, we're in a um, underground parking garage, so we don't have to worry about too much with. Oh, fuck yeah. Going over, brother. Motherfucker. Ah. Uh, 
um, so we don't have to worry too much about the heat, but at the same time, I don't know, I've never been in that garage in the summer, uh, so I need to be able to check it out. Man, this awesome street to ride on the motorcycle. Ooh, ooh. Uh, ADD kicking in. Um, so getting some AC in the van, getting it um, um, heat, heat, hot weather, tolerable, livable. Um, and one of the options I was looking at for when I travel the world and doing some research on was house sitting and um, why do I need to travel the world to house sit there's a plenty of houses here in LA that probably need sitters so I'm going to actually do I need to turn here maybe I do I don't even know where I'm going I'm on highway one going south <laughs> somewhere in Santa Monica no clue where I'm going I'm gonna get over and get off. I need to go up. That's what needs to happen. I need to go up. Okay, people. Wait, 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 wait. This is right. Good. Ten freeway. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. God, I love this stuff. Oh, see, this this is what gets me going, like, trying to figure things out, traveling, getting, you know, getting lost in places, and getting myself found. This is the exciting part, so, woohoo! Um, this is just a rambling old video, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so house-sitting. Um, why can't I do it, you know, why not practice while I'm here, you know, get my game up, uh, figure out, you know, how to advertise myself as a house sitter, how to work with uh, different people, how to, you know, um, make sure uh, uh, Mia be around, so like how to have those conversations. Um, uh, get get a reputation, build a a, 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 a yeah, I guess reputation. I would say following, but a reputation of being a good house sitter, so that when I give have that option when I travel around, you know, bam, that's another great option of um, getting accommodations. You know, um, I don't know the specifics of it. You know, like I said, I was just starting to research when this idea popped in my head, and you know, if if, and I'm just talking out my butt right now, out my, oh shit, I'm a cusser, I hope the FCC is not a, 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 a angry about this, but I should probably check the rules, <laughs> talking, my, talking out my ass right now, but just some ideas in my head, because this is one of those videos, uh, uh, just rambling while I'm driving here, um, yeah, house sitting, um, if I could get like in a house, like either on my days off or um, where I'm away from campus or I can, you know, um, or shoot, set up every single day where I'm at one uh, a house or another, you know, um, just the context I can make, the people I would meet, um, uh, the animals I take care of, which would be awesome. Um, just just that experience I think will be a good one and that would take care of an AC problem because if the hottest part of the day is, is well, during the day and my job is technically at night and if I can get them to go that way permanently um, then we're good at night it's nice and cool and we don't have to worry about anything and then I just have to worry about the day, but if I can be in house it during AC during the day, uh, that would be great. So, anyway, I'm reading this book called um, International House Sitting. It's by the guy who does um, Zero to Travel podcast. It's, uh, it's on my Kindle, so I can't quite get you some. 
the name for him. I want to say Jason something. Um, anyway, um, and so one of the things he asks is, you know, kind of like guide to help set up a good uh, house sitting practice and how to do it. And, you know, it was a relatively uh, inexpensive book. So I got it. I like reading, I like educating myself. And why not have a bunch of reference books? That's what I do in my um, massage practice. Reference books galore. Um, why not do it in my future um, travel the world businesses and life? Uh, so the question he wanted well he wanted us to write this down so like free form writing or uh, stream of conscious writing that kind of thing um, I want to get out of this no I'm gonna stay in this lane yeah um, so f uh, stream of conscious writing and well I, I, I don't have anything to write on and I'm trying to multitask so we're doing stream of conscious video and all you people are sorry you have to suffer through this <laughs> um okay i think i need to get over we are going 10 west trying to find the 405 north see look at me learning learning i love this stuff yeah uh, that's right right two next two rights 405 getting over i'm getting over i'm a big ass fan i'll run you over you will be a pancake on the highway Where was I? Uh, yeah, stream of conscious for house sitting. Um, basically, like really, he, he the, the question he wanted was something along the lines of um, get really get really into it. Like, um, like why do you want to house sit and get down deep? And, um, I'm going to take this as um, how about take? Well, that was a good looking motorcycle. <laughs> Uh, how I tell my clients that we uh, uh, not my clients my students um, I guess they are my clients if you really think about it um, the we have this commitment to success sheet so you set out on this journey to become a massage therapist um, you're paying a buttload of money to do it so commit right how, uh, what are some things that will, when you start to wane, your motivation starts to wane, what are some things that will, uh, me as a teacher and as a mentor can talk to you about to bring you back on track? And, um, the, uh, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to make people feel better, you know, you know, there's always the things, you know, some family member, uh, is injured, not to discredit those, very valid, because, you know, I definitely helped out my mother plenty and um my grandparents with it as well and um not to downside that but um what I tell them is when you write this and I give them I give them a few days when you write this if you are not getting choked up and if you are not crying by the end of this that's the wrong answer because reading a lot of um books about how to motivate people and not saying that I'm great at it but um, one of the big things that really stuck with me and um, I think I actually got this from Jillian Michaels in her podcast um, and she may have gotten it from somebody anyway um, was if you can put if you could find the emotion behind the motivation, find the emotion behind the motivation, and that will that will motivate, that will keep people going because you know there's a lot, um, a lot out there. Ooh, no nails. Ooh. Okay, good. Um, you know, because a lot of people we don't like to look at each other. I mean, not at each other, but at ourselves, you know, and dig deep and look at those, the things that make us tick and the things that um, direct our lives, uh, whether we realize it or not. I have a feeling the 405 is bagged up. Oh, that's a cute RV. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to shoot for here. 
um, why do I want a house sit? Like, deep down, why do I want a house sit? Okay. Let's work through the shallow stuff. Free housing. <laughs> Free housing. Um, that would, that's, that's awesome, you know. Um, that's one of the reasons why I went to the van, is so I won't have to pay rent. Um, I don't have to worry about a place for my beautiful Mia Mia here. Um, I can save money. Um, I can pay off my debts. I can get out of debt. Um, put money together. Um, have money to build businesses because it takes money to build businesses. It takes money to make money. Um, so yes, not being able to pay rent and have that extra money being put away um the other reasons um behind that is uh shoot let's see that was, was pretty superficial rio come on something deeper something feel it feel it in your guts get choked up put some drama in this video um not that i'm doing this for the video i'm just again trying to stream of consciousness here um Da, 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 da. Um, it's a great way to explore LA you know I'm gonna be here you know people travel in this city a hell of a lot right and shoot if I can get regulars in the house sitting gig I could be staying at the same house multiple times you know taking care of depending on you know if they like what I what I do and how I am and how I take care of their property and you know, I can learn a lot about different houses. Like, there's a potential learning about the uh, real estate industry. Um, that may be another video as to why I'm not actively in the real estate in industry and why I kind of want to be. And yeah, that's a whole other stream of conscious like chat. Anyway, um, but yeah. Great way to explore LA, you know, getting in a neighborhood, learning things about that neighborhood, you know, getting a feel of, of I, one thing I've learned is, I don't I would call them boroughs, but I'm pretty sure that's just New York, but all the little cities within this metro area, this LA area, they all have their own vibe and I've only been to the northern cities. Um, I haven't, this 10 actually, the Highway 10 is probably the furthest south I've gone. Um, I, a few months back, I wanna say in the uh, summer, yeah, summer, summertime, um, I took a trip down to Santa Ana, from Sacramento to Santa Ana. Uh, I drove straight shot in there, hung out there with my boss for the weekend. It's a fabulous weekend. That woman can barbecue, man. Whew. If you ever want to eat well, find a Brazilian. The uh, so yeah, Santa Ana was was a was an interesting vibe. You know, I don't know if it was my vibe, but um, yeah, I'm just learning. There's all these little pockets in here and. This is one of the reasons why I really didn't, really didn't like the Bay. Okay, I need to get over. Uh, why I really didn't like the Bay Area was because there was all this um, crazy energy everywhere. Um, all right, buddy. Okay, I'm going. Sorry, man. Sorry. It's cutthroat out here on the LA freeway. Ha <laughs> ha! Hail adventure! Yeah! That's right, motherfuckers. Let me through. Alright. What was I saying? Oh. Wanna eat well? Find a Brazilian. Those those people can cook, man. Mm, yummy. And barbecue. Woo! Folk of the chow. Yummy. Are y'all noticing my ADD kicking in with all these wonderful tangents? Bring it back, Rio. Bring it back. Alright. So we got um free rinse. Uh, not paying any rent and whatnot. We turn on our lights. The do do turn on your lights. I'm not gonna flash you because I don't know if you're a gang member or if that's just an urban myth. But more power to you. I'm just gonna switch lights. Um, the uh, la, 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 exploring LA, like all these different boroughs, all these different cities, neighborhoods. They have their own little vibe. Um, I'm cruising around. Uh, like 
I was in Encino and uh, uh, Tarzana, man. I, those cities got some really, really cool vibes to them. Um, so I kind of dug them and I found this awesome little uh, uh, breakfast spot called The Nook. Uh, met a wonderful little lady there. Um, not today, so don't, don't be thinking that. Um, but she was, um, uh, she, she had a, she used to have a pit bull who passed last year. So we talked about pit bulls and um, she was actually a landlord who specifically rents out the pit bulls um, here in the LA area and up in the Bay Area. No, she doesn't have any vacancies. Um, but she was also a massage, uh, looking for a massage therapist down here. So I may have just scored a, a client, which would be amazing, you know. Um, ooh, those are some cool looking warehouses. I wonder if I could rent one of those off. I could make like a do-it-yourself motorcycle place or van build place. Ooh, that might be a good idea. Thumbs, 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 thumbs. Okay, back on track, back on track, back on track. No ADD, no ADD. Um, where am I going? 101, go to number 101. Yeah, so exploring these boroughs, all these little, like, little bitty, you know, mom and pop. I'm, I'm not a fan of the chain, the chains. I mean, I eat a lot of chain food, whether it be restaurants or, you know, uh, I'm, I, my mom gave me a wonderful gift card to Wendy's. Thank you, mom. You're amazing. Um, that's going to be my last fast food meal. No more. Because next year, sorry, after the Wendy's, definitely next year, all of next year, focusing on my health. So, yes. Yes. Um. So, but yeah, all these little mom and pop places, you know, uh, eateries, cafes, um, um, little hangouts, coffee shops. Man, I'm not a fan of chain coffee shops. Starbucks, you, you suck. I mean, you're so delicious. And oh my God, your strawberry acai is amazing. That dragon fruit thing you just had coming out in October, that was delicious as well. But man, I don't know, just drinking from a chain. That just that just bothers me. Anyway, so I would love to find like a little coffee shop so I can like so I can post up in and do internet and that kind of thing. And oh that's another great reason. Free internet house sitting. Oh yeah. If they'll let me use it or no, you know, no, no, free house sitting internet. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, exploring all these little places, you know, what better way to you know explore and discover and you know learn and grow and you know all that than living in a place so i think doing this house sitting thing will you know uh, depending on where it takes me it may take me all over the la metro area and you know who knows good times right so this can be exciting um so we have free rent we got explore la we got uh free internet hopefully Ooh, that'd be great um what else ac ac in the day for mia that would be amazing that's I'm, oh now i'm getting choked up this might be the big one this is the ac for mia because you know those of you who have fur kids you know what i'm talking about here want to make sure they're they're good they're happy through the day they uh, feel feel safe feel like they have a stable environment that they have um, something that they can um, so that they're happy you know and they're not stressed out they're not especially as her as getting her getting older and worried about that um, she's she's in very good health like amazingly good health and I want to keep that up and with all the exploring that this could bring, I could find places to take her to get some exercise and keep her kicking. You know, that'd be great. Um, la, 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 yeah. <sighs> That's it. Be a better mom for me. Yeah. That's all I want to do. Because I might only have a few, a few years with her left. Damn it! Don't cry and drive. There's no crying and driving. Um, 
and I want those years to be, her to be happy and her to um, feel safe and loved and yeah so that's it but I want her you know when we were in a, an apartment you know I can oh lord I can become a, a homebody very quickly um, and she she was sick of that you know when when all we had was my motorcycle and I couldn't take her out to the park. I couldn't take her to the river. I couldn't take her to the lake or to the mountains, the hiking. And yeah, you heard mountain. You heard mountain, didn't you? You just licked my elbow. Um, yeah, I couldn't take her there on the motorcycle because, you know, A, she will not be in a backpack. <laughs> she was not, I tried that. She was not, she wasn't having that. Um, get over one. Why? Because I don't know where I'm supposed to exit. I don't see a thing yet. Um, but <sighs> so yeah. This her to be happy. That's all I'm trying to do here. Um, especially because I can tell she feels and she's catching uh, picking up on my vibes of um, uncertainty and being uh, not liking LA and um, she's been with me for 14 years she knows my moods and she knows I'm not I'm not uh, chipper and so I know that affects her and so I need to I need to figure out some way to get me feeling settled and um, good so I send off a good vibe for her so that will help her be settled and whatnot so I gotta figure out this game plan and start executing it so yeah so that's the main thing just making sure Mia is okay Mia has a good few years left uh, with her three 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 and three quarter miles so I'll get off my venture at Boulevard. No, 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 no. Just a little one. Um, yeah. Let's see, what else? There's got to be more than that. Well, practice. Because, like, you know, I'm an introvert. I'm a big introvert. Uh... I know, I teach in front of people for a living. Yay, that was smart when I went for that job. Uh, but I've learned a lot from that job. That job is amazing. Maybe I'll do another video when I talk about how awesome my job is. And <laughs> consequently why I want to leave. Uh, I may save that video until it might be closer to that time, which is a few years off. Um, maybe. Yeah, practice. Practice this whole getting the rhythm of it. Practice going out and exploring areas. Practice. Um, practice a, a location independent lifestyle. You know, where I want to build an online business. That means having the discipline to work a few hours or more, probably more throughout the day because you know I have my own I already have a business of my massage practice and Lord knows that's not a couple hour a day or a week job you know having your own business that's 24 7 365 so getting getting used in that practice you know learning how about web web pages uh, learning about Oh my god, that's a beautiful view. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, practicing that, you know, that self-discipline to sit down and, you know, get stuff done. Learning about uh, how to build web pages, um, internet marketing, um, um, yeah, all of that stuff. So 
It's go that's going to take time. I don't, I'm, I'm not expecting it to happen overnight. Um, I set a deadline of uh, two years. So we'll say oh, let's see, 2021. I'll be 41 years old. Nope, 40. 2021, I'll turn 40, 41. Um, so deadline uh, to be making some money on them and so I can at least pay my expenses would be uh, 2021 but getting in the rhythm of getting into a house set getting into a place to um, work for myself instead of work for somebody invest my time in me and not that's it investing my time in me that's what I want to do come on buddy see how nice I am see you ain't getting it. Just one. Um, yeah. That's a big one, man. 38 years old. Worked for other people my entire life. Except when I've worked for myself. There was... When I've had my own practice. God, that's... I love my practice. Because I'm my own boss. I... Put my money and my time into me. And love my clients they hey this you know but yeah yeah they pay me but the reward I get just to see you know the smiles on their faces to be able to see that their pain um, lessens or completely disappears you know after we become a team and we really get going you know watch them change their lives for the better just I love that god I love that um yeah, so finding myself again. I'm not an employee. I'm a great employee, but I don't think I was meant to be an employee. No, I know I was not meant to be an employee. So doing all that and house sitting is going to be a way to, do I want to say practice for life on the road? Because technically I'm on the road, but what was that term I my plethora of researching static nomadic somebody who is living in a vehicle um, but is stuck in one town static nomadic that's me right now preparing preparing to go anyway so there you have it um, rent free be able to save up money to invest in myself, invest in myself, money in myself, my time in myself, um, build a reputation that I could take with me around the world as a house sitter, so I can have free accommodations, possibly free Wi-Fi, explore wonderful, beautiful places. Um, trying to go in South Los Angeles. Need to get over. See this is you are nice in the universe and the universe helps you out. See, that was easy. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, so free rent, possibly Wi Fi. Um, ex practice exploring new places, exploring LA. You know, I live here. Why not explore it and, you know, figure out why. Oh, damn, that's a big ass box why people love this town so damn much. I should just stop and pull that box out of the freeway because really? Um, yes, I just said stop in the middle of LA freeway traffic and jump out of my vehicle. <laughs> Talk about hail adventure. <laughs> oh, in that case, um, See, there's that ADD just going, going, going. I'm wondering if I do this to distract myself from... I wonder if this is a, a mechanism, a coping mechanism. Of when things get a little too real, I distract myself. With stuff like this. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Uh, so, free rent. Let's go down again. Free rent. Possibly Wi-Fi. I'm going to keep that as one. Rent and Wi-Fi for free. Um, I'm going to get out of this lane.
free, free, free Wi-Fi. Explore LA. Save money uh, and pay off debt. Um, Mia AC, Mia AC, Mia AC. I can't say that enough. Yes, and you heard my name. Oh, you got a little kisses. Thank you for kisses. Thank you for kisses. She's standing right between the driver and passenger seat. Um, yeah, practice for this life I want. This life I'm going to have. Absolutely. This life I am going to have. So, there you have it. Okay, so that was my rambling train of thought for this long ass video. Um, probably edit edit out some of this. Uh, God, I wish I was on a motorcycle, just busting through all this traffic. Um, That's another reason. Be able to ride my motorcycle. A place I can park the van where I know it's safe. I can ride my motorcycle. I know me is safe in the van and I can park it somewhere. I could ride my motorcycle. That'd be amazing. Um, so there you have it. This train of thought that uh, this book asked me to do. And I guess it's, if I remember correctly, the next step is to read over this oh bless me to um well it says to read over your writing so i guess watch this video again analyze i'll have to go back and read that chapter but thanks for coming with me on this drive through la traffic from the highway one and the pacific coast to right now i want to say we are in just outside Studio City. So, until next time, hail adventure. <laughs>